Right. That's it. I've had enough. I need to get out. Check they're all okay. Right, suitably attired. Shorts, boots, gloves. Going. Right. <laughs> See if she starts after two weeks. Ooh. Right, that's about as far as I can go, considering we can't get out. Gutted. See you later, stay safe. Morning YouTube. So I'm here today um, fitting the Ultimate Add-ons case. Uh, this one's for a Galaxy S10 tough waterproof case. Uh, nice bit of kit. All fully sealed. All clipped in. Should be absolutely fantastic. So my phone isn't actually a Galaxy S10. It's a Huawei or Huawei P Smart, but it's the right size for the case. Um, you also get a nice sticker uh, and I'm going to be using the pro bike attachment uh, which should fit these bars and these bars are quite fat actually tapered bars so we'll see how that goes uh, the mount itself comes with extra rubber fillers to take up some of the space and the slack on the bars so I think I'll be using one of those. So this is the actual mount, keyed in together. And obviously you can have the case mount sideways or vertical. So we'll see what uh, how it looks best when we get it on. So hopefully I'm sat here with my crash helmet because it's the easiest way of uh, having the camera while I'm working hands-free. So we'll see how we get on with that. So. Let's uh, begin. So let's put the bottom mount on. The rubber filler to go in that way. I think that's probably the easiest way of getting it. There's the rest of the mount. That should slide in there. Get a bit central do the job. It's got captive nuts in the mount so in theory these should just pick straight up. No worries about this screws dropping down behind. Get me screwdriver. Probably have it angled a bit. Obviously once you've got the mount on you can uh, Deal with how you want to get it angled. Hopefully the camera's picking this up okay. Bonus though, all you need to use is a uh, the simple screwdriver. Obviously don't tighten it up too tight. We don't want it to Strip in the threads. There you go, mount fitted. Let's see what it's like with a case on. Right, 
Well, that's the case on these. I'll get the phone out in a sec. See what it looks like. So it's got a keyed bit with these squeezies on. Let's tighten that up. So it should just clip in the bottom, press the two things, and there you go. Actually, vertical's not too bad. I can still see the rev count, I can still see the, uh, the screen. Let's get rid of that. A little lanyard on the case, just so you can have it around your wrist when you're carrying it about. Obviously that can tuck out around there. No real clearance issues. Obviously, it does restrict the access to the key. So you've also got the option, obviously, of having the phone that way. Still means you can get to the key. Still see everything. It's fine. Let's take that off. Just squeeze the little uh, clips in together. Let's hit the case off. <laughs> then you can tighten up the ball mount at the back to keep it secure. So the case has clips to secure it. Let's just take it off from there and do it. That's the case. Let's get my phone. The only problem is it's a bit um it is a bit tight in there, so it doesn't really work with an extra case on your phone. But that's my phone, the Huawei. Let's try the cable. So it does come with a USB-C connector on the um, charging cable. But obviously my phone isn't that uh, isn't that modern. So I can fit that in there. Squeeze it up. That's the phone fitted in with the cable. down and finally you've got the clips to snug it up tight that's the phone I think I have there you go so I'd set it to double click on the screen so that it powers on so that's it the screen set so I can have it like that as well. Um, the Triumph, my Triumph, comes with a extra 12 volt slot there. So unfortunately, I need to get a um, an adapter to go in there. But I have got this one, which is a a Hella adapter to um, it's actually to a cigarette lighter socket. Then I've got a USB adapter that goes into it. So in theory. I am going to replace that. There's a little, um, you can get one which fits into the heller and has got a USB directly on it. So this will obviously need to be tidied up. That's already powered on. Plug it in. There you go. She's charging. Obviously I need to sort out the wires, make it a little bit tidier, but that's certainly done the job. So I think it's probably going to work that way actually. So it worked well as a sat nav. Obviously I can have it hooked up to my um, Cardo in order to get the uh, commands coming through. But I like that. Spot on. Perfect. So we've just got to see at some point, once all this uh, madness of not being able to go out is finished, we should be able to get out on the road and see how it behaves. It can't, I can't see it going anywhere. These um, ultimate add-on mounts and cases are meant to be the balls so we'll see how we get on with that so hope you enjoyed that hopefully we'll get out at some point and we can uh, 
ride and see how it behaves. Cool. Take it easy.